up guys, Kim here, Vigatech, and it hasn't even been long since Realme launched their entry-level king, the C1. And what do you know? It's been selling like hotcakes. And I thought, why not pit this phone against its identical twin, the Oppo A3s, and probably its greatest opponent against this category, the Xiaomi Redmi 6a. Which one held the title of entry-level king? Well, what are we waiting for? Let the battle begin. We've mentioned this a number of times, and we'll say it again. The Realme C1 and the Oppo A3s basically have the same specs, save for the front camera resolution. That's it. So in this comparison, it'll be pretty much like C1 and A3s versus Redmi 6a. Let's begin with design. Quite honestly, we actually like how the C1 and the A3s are built, because they don't really look or feel like an entry-level smartphone. As for the Redmi 6a, it ain't so bad. It's well built, but if you're after the design, then the twins might be a better choice thanks to that premium, more modern look. Both the C1 and the A3s comes with the same 6.2-inch HD Plus display with a notch, while the Redmi 6a comes with a smaller 5.4-inch HD Plus 18x9 display. All three phones have good color reproduction and viewing angles, however, the Redmi 6a screen is significantly brighter. Now, the decision is solely based on your preference. If you want a big screen and don't mind the notch, then go for Oppo or Realme. But if you prefer actual display quality, then the Redmi 6a is a better bet. For cameras, both the C1 and the A3s have the same 13 megapixel plus 2 megapixel rear camera, while the Redmi 6a has a single 13 megapixel rear camera. Let's check out quality. Starting with a daylight photo shot with the auto mode, both the C1 and the A3s produce a better photo as it is more detailed and color accurate. The Redmi 6a seems to lack in detail, colors are on the cool side, and overall the shot just looks a bit washed out. For low light, they're all terrible. But it's understandable, and a story. Now for selfies, the Redmi 6a and the C1 both have a 5 megapixel front camera, while the A3s has an 8 megapixel one. Remember though, the number of megapixels isn't indicative of picture quality. All of them look decent, but we can see that the Redmi 6a seems to stand out as it provides more natural skin tones. With the beauty mode turned on, the Redmi 6a also seems to win as it looks way more natural. The other two are okay with the A3s looking a little bit better than the C1. The same goes for the depth effect. The Redmi 6a seems to do a better job at separating the subject from the background. Both the C1 and the A3s are powered by a Snapdragon 450 chipset, 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of storage, while the Redmi 6a is powered by MediaTek Helio P22, also with 2GB of RAM, and 16GB of storage. All of them perform basic tasks with ease, but when it comes to gaming, expect a lot of frame drops, even with balanced settings. Games are playable, but be sure to lower your expectations. For software, all phones have Android 8.1 Oreo, but the Redmi 6a is skinned with MIUI 10, while the twins run ColorOS 5.1. Now we can tell you which UI is better, as it all depends upon your taste. Giving juice to the C1 and the A3s is a large 4230 mAh battery. And if you have read or watched the reviews of these two phones, let me tell you that they can last a day or two, or maybe even three. We haven't tested out the 6a's battery capacity though, but at 3000 mAh, it's pretty obvious who wins in this section. We know this is also the part where things get really tough. The price. Both the C1 and the Redmi 6a are priced at 5,990 pesos, while the A3s is priced at 6,990 pesos. However, you can get the Realme C1 at Lazada's 1212 flash sale for 5,490 pesos and the Redmi 6a for 4,490 pesos. Now you're probably thinking, which phone should I buy? And to answer your question, if you're choosing between the C1 and the A3s, just go for the C1. It's basically the same phone and it's cheaper. But if you're choosing between the C1 and the Redmi 6a, the C1 will provide better design and build quality, a larger display, decent performance, and good rear cameras. But if you prefer a phone with a smaller form factor, a notch less design, decent performance, and good front cameras, then go for the Redmi 6a. And there you have it guys. Which of these three phones are you going to buy and why? Let us know in the comments down below. As always, if you like this video, you know where that thumbs up button is. Consider subscribing to our YouTube channel for more content. 
Don't forget to hit that bell icon to be notified of our future uploads and visit yugatech.com for the latest tech news and reviews. This is Kim of Yugatech and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!